Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear CSS aspirants, my name is Zahur Ilahi and I qualified my CSS in 2009. I currently am working in Commerce and Trade Group. So uh, the purpose of making this video is that uh, I have been associated with the NOAA uh, and many students, they inspired me that I should make certain videos uh, especially for those students who cannot join academies and who are from far flung areas and due to corona issues something like that so it would be very beneficial uh, that they could improve their knowledge especially if they have some sort of difficulty in certain subjects so i would like to say that uh, on regular basis i would upload my certain videos and in the beginning, I would start from gender studies. After gender studies, I would focus on sociology. And then I would redress your queries, especially about your essay and your other compulsory subjects are concerned. Uh, because this is my first video and I just want to give my message to those students who are going to make their mind that uh, they are thinking to take attempt in 2021. I would say that you have enough time if you show your seriousness because you have to be in mind that uh, your own resolution to succeed is more important than another. And second thing that if you show seriousness and if you work hard that would never go unsung. Uh, definitely your achievements you will get at the end of the day but in the beginning and during the struggle phase you have to show your seriousness it means that at least four to six hours you need to spend a day on your css preparation if i'm going to give my own example i just prepared for four months and on average yeah you can say four to six hours i used to spend but this is no hard and fast rule that every student uh, should just study four to six hours. It depends on your capacity, on your mental abilities as well, that if you can study more than eight hours, it would be fine. But students like me, even they can study for four to six hours, that could also be fine. Yeah, but in the beginning, it might be difficult for you that you need to take more time to retain certain concepts and some bright students, maybe they are going to retain certain concepts in shorter period of time. Do not get worried. Do, don't get confused. Don't be double minded. At the end of the day, the bright student would also be successful and students like you and me who are hardworking, they would also be successful and we would be on the same page. But I would say just one thing that please never don't play the required seriousness whatever the activities you are going to have please continue but at the same time you need to manage certain times for your css preparation uh, so then it will be fine because if you give a more importance to your social activities that is detriment to your own studies it would be uh, you can say it would be suicidal otherwise it would be okay so don't uh, feel panic don't feel under your uh, don't feel yourself under stress that you are preparing for css which is very difficult exam honestly speaking it is very easy it is exam your own nerves it shows that how much you show consistency and determination it depends on your preparation and it depends on your planning how you are going to uh, how you are going to you can say that how you are going to uh, make your own strategy that you will be successful in this uh, arena otherwise it is not difficult at all so be motivated and uh, keep yourself in high spirit and i would upload my videos on a regular basis if you want some sort of subject selection guidance or something like that uh, i would be okay and whatever the queries you have I would rest by myself otherwise I would ask my colleagues if they have expertise on certain subjects uh, I would request you to make certain videos on your required topics as well so I would also engage my colleagues as well because uh, this is a very noble objective and uh, uh, I would share my own experience my own knowledge at the same time 
I would uh, take my colleagues on board as well that uh, we can prepare, guide and we can supervise you in a very decent and effective way. So in the end, I would like to say that don't forget to subscribe this channel and uh, press the bell icon so you will get the notifications on time. And I would request you that you need to share with your colleagues as well that uh, they would also get the benefit and uh, those students, especially who are far, far, uh, far flung areas, they could also uh, be benefited to the greater extent. Thank you very much and stay blessed.